What is up, YouTube? My name is Make R S Mills. Like you guys know, thanks for dropping by. Um, today I'm gonna be doing a uh, 07 tutorial, and um, yeah, I hope you guys like it. So it's gonna be on fishing, what you'll need, and uh, where to get it and stuff. All right, so you'll most likely end up in when you start off in Rock Castle. Once you're there, you're just gonna exit the castle to your left and just follow this trail. Now, if you think you're like sneaky or something, you can like cut through the forest, but you'll probably get lost, so I don't know. Um, all you have to do is just, we're all we're doing is we're going to a drainer village, which is a common fishing place. And I'm going to show you guys where are some great uh, fishing spots. And yeah, so I'm just going to walk here just to show you guys how to get there in case you've never you've never done it. So once you get to the... Oh god, we're walking. So this could probably take a while. No, actually no, it shouldn't take long. I'm right here. Hashtag 07 problems. The running... Alrighty, we're just about here in Drainer Village. Yeah, we're here. Alright, so once we get to the central town hall, I don't know what you guys want to call it, the bank kind of, you just want to keep on following the path until you get the bank. There's the bank right there in that sexy little corner. Alright, so... Now I'm going to show you guys what to fish and to what level. Oh, and by the way, these things will be, uh, these dark wizards will be a pain in the ass, but you're going you're gonna to have to drive through it. All right, so you want first you're going to want to have your net. Actually, before I start this, I'm going to show you guys where to get the net. So if you guys are just starting on uh, 07, feel free to PM me at TSM Herbert, and uh, I can get you started with some fishing supplies because I have loads in my bank. All they do is just PM. I'm probably gonna pause this part and get there, or actually I should probably show you guys how to get there first, and then I'll pause it and go back. So we're going to a place called Port Serum, 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 Syrup. No, I'm just get there. You just gotta get there. So you just gotta follow this path to your left, and then you'll find a cool like couple houses on the like on the left side of the path. You'll find like the water station thing. It's basically just walk west. This is where you like go to Karamja and stuff the the ships. So once you get to the cooking place, you just want to keep on following along. You'll find like the red quest thing, and here's the fishing shop. Inside, I don't remember what's his name. It's like Gurant, Gurant, Gurant. I don't know, but here you're gonna find all the fishing supplies you need. It's they're not that expensive, like five coins, five coins. Five coins. Yeah, I'm pretty sure all the supplies are five. Oh, 20 coins. Sorry, it's not that bad. Bait pack. I don't know what that is, actually. Open bait pack. Oh, it's 100. Oh, that's pretty cool. So what you'll do is, if you when you get here, I would buy a bunch of feathers, some bait, and all these things, and maybe a few other nets. So... Depending on if you're going for money or XP, um, you'll either want to drop or bank the fish. All right, so I'll be right back when I uh, finish walking back to the Drainer Village. All right, guys, we're back here, uh, back in Drainer, or whatever the hell we are. We are. Um, so yeah, you're gonna first want to get out your net. That shack should fish in that. Oh, what does this guy want? Just, just what? LOL. Um, okay. Alright, anyway, I don't know. Oh. 
Okay, no, right. Okay, anyway, sorry, I don't want to get sidetracked here. I thought public was on hide, though. Oh, I guess I'll still be able to see him talk. I don't know, anyway. So, first we're going to take out our sexy small net. And we're going to go, and we're going to net. You guessed it, shrimp. Yay. Shrimp. Yay. Oh, and I, I believe you get anchovies at level 5. Or 15, actually. Sorry, you get sardines at... So you guys really want to just fish uh, shrimp. Sorry, there you go. You guys want to fish shrimp until um, until level 5. So once you guys have level 5, depending on how fast or if you want to make money, then uh, run to the bank. The bank's only right here, so you can do it. Um, it's, it's, I, would, I would actually recommend banking if you're just starting off for that for a bit of cash that's what I did and I know I don't have a lot of cash it's because I'm just starting off I started a couple days ago actually playing 07 skate so I'm just getting kind of getting familiar with the place but I've been helped out a lot by uh, some peers anyway so once you're at level 5 fishing I'd say then you want to get your fishing rod and your bait and go bait fishing woo so oh my god how do I hide this guy Hide, private, hide? I don't know. Maybe this doesn't work. Alright, so you'll get sardines and herring, or herring, I don't know, I don't really know how to say that, at level 10. So, once you're, I would just keep on doing this, well you're going to have to actually do this until, you're going to have to do bait fishing until around level 20. It's not that bad actually, it, it only took me around 15 minutes I'd say. Make sure you have quite a bit uh, amount of bait and uh, <laughs> and a fishing rod. So once we are at level 20, we're going to be going to Camelot or around there. Camelot, Catherby, Catherby, I don't know. We're going to be going around there and uh, yeah, we're going to fish it's near the fishing guild so i'm not sure if you guys know how to get there but i guess i'll have to show you so let's see i would once you're done if you banked it go back to port serum where we bought our supplies and sell your fish for a little bit of extra money so now i'm going to show you guys where the semi money comes in not really well this this method is actually more for experience if you guys want money then you guys can go fish lobsters at level 40 but you should always do fly fishing at um, level 20 for really fast XP. So now what we're going to do is we're going to head on over to Camelot. Ooh. All right, guys. Well, we just arrived in Camelot. There's a bunch of people training their magic here. And we're just going to walk along this path for about, I don't know, like two or three minutes. But it'll take a while. So... If you guys can figure out how to get to the fishing guild, I will show you from there. So I'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. I'm at the fishing guild right now, and I just realized that I know that some of you might not have the uh, the ability to teleport to wherever the hell we're going. Where are we going again? Fishing guild, whatever. So all you have to do is just walk to Falador and then go up to the gates, go to Taverly. Then you're gonna have to follow the White Wolf Mountain all the way down to the bottom. If you're a low level, I would have make sure you have your sprint on and bring some food just in case. Then you'll get to Catherby, or Catherby. Follow your way up to Camelot Castle, and this is where you walk all the way down to the, you'll, you'll walk past the Ranging Guild, and now we're at the Fishing Guild right now. So I'll continue on from where I am right now. So once you're at the fishing guild, you basically just want to walk west. Or you want to just walk a little further until you're along the lines of... Here we are. We're at the fishing guild now. So you're going to want to make sure if you're a low level, you have quite a bit of run. Because there are some moss giants that you have to cross. But I believe there's a way you can evade them. So all you're going to do is you're just going to walk a straight line along the fishing guild. And you should... You should be able to 
like all you're doing is you're walking west and you'll be able to tell once you find like warrior women's and goblins and yeah there's some there's the warrior women's woman not women's sounds like an idiot all right so around a little you want to just keep on walking west oh there's the moss giants all right so i believe to avoid them you can just go on the very okay yeah this is not gonna work just go along the fence side and that's how you can dodge them but some of them are all pricks so you have to watch out here we go run oh my god they they hit massively high all right we're here though once you find gerald you're safe my goodness i thought i was gonna get killed on my video i was about to flip all right guys this is where big xp comes in this is where i train my fishing to around level uh 50 so and then i just did all the from 50 to 62 i just did lobsters for money all right so all you're gonna do is you're gonna need your feathers of course and your fly fishing rod Woohoo! all right so once you got all that uh oh sorry i don't know what i'm talking to him so you're gonna lure just gonna wait a bit so you get i believe 1.5 k ish give or take a few xp per bag depending on how many salmon you get and you get set salmon i believe at like level 30 or something yep you get salmon at level 30 so you'll be getting salmon and trout and with this this is how you can make all, almost all your money back on your feathers this is this is what's so good about this place it's way faster xp than the fishing guild which is there's really good xp in the fishing guild as well so we're gonna go on over to so say you got a full bag all right you're gonna run down here and you're gonna see this guy named razolo or razolo and you're gonna trade him and see there's already some raw trail all you're gonna do is just gonna you're gonna sell them all and salmon sell for five coins and trout sell for two so you if you get a mixture of both you'll make back the feather and the feather is three coins so you want to do this method to around level 50 when lobsters will be a bit easier so now i'm just going to head quickly back on over to camelot you guys can probably have to walk the full way but um if you guys need a camelot teleport just pm me in game and i'll find you and and I'll trade you one for free. Oh my god. So I'm going to walk, just follow this path down to a bank, and I'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. Sorry. Now I'm at the bank, finally. And we're going to just deposit all the feathers in the fishing rod. So now... Oh, I forgot to deposit my coins, whatever. So now, um, for money-wise, you're going to do cage fishing here. And cage fishing is really easy. You just have to be cautious because if you AFK, then, you know, the stupid NPCs will probably kill you. I've died a couple times, but it's, it's no big deal. Um, so, yeah, that, that sums up about this, this video, just about cool places to fish in 07. If you guys have any questions or if you want to play skill with me, feel free to add me at TSM Herbert, like I've said before. And yeah, I uh, hope you guys like the new intro and outro. Yeah, that took... Oh yeah, I think I already mentioned that. Anyway, so if you guys would like to make money in EOC to become a member, this is the big thing. If you guys want to become a member and uh, if you want to be able to play this game, like this is... See, I'm not paying at all. I'm paying through bonds on RuneScape. And if you use my tutorial methods you'll be able to uh, get where I am here. Anyway, so I would say that sums up this video. And like I said, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to, do not hesitate, in fact, to uh, leave them in the comment section below. And yeah, so I hope you have a great time fishing, making some money. And yeah, so if you guys would please leave a like, that would help me very much. And yeah, so please subscribe as well. I'm a new channel, just getting started off. It would help a lot. Alright guys, I will see you in the near future.